This is Justin Garnett from BasketMakerAllotl.com. Um, I was just working on making some allotls, and it occurred to me that I have not yet made a video which actually discusses the upward curvature, um, which is characteristic of many um, Great Basin and um, Southwest um, allotl types, um, up to and including the uh, allotls of the basket maker culture. Um, a lot of times there is an upward curvature of these um, thin, slat-like allotls, and this has been described in different in different sources um, as having various purposes. Um, however, there has been a kind of a desire to attribute this um, upward curvature to an attempt to create um, spring energy, um, a bearing surface on the board. Um, this is, however, uh, demonstrably untrue. Um, these uh, levels don't function as um, don't function as springs. Um, what they do do is um, very easy to understand, actually, uh, and is uh, very simple. So here I have an allotl which I have not yet added any upward curvature to. It does, however, have its, um, its loading groove and spur cut into it. So if I attempt to mate a dart to this, I get good solid, good solid connection to the dart when they're angled like this. However, this is not a convenient angle to actually hold a dart from. So in order to actually make the dart holdable, um, in order to actually make this a, a usable system, I have to lower the dart. Well, once it gets to that point, it pops off and it slides off. So by heating and uh, bending your uh, lottles uh, to have a curvature, what you do is you enable these, um, these short loading grooves and um, very low, very low spurs to uh, actually engage the engage the dart um, while allowing you to hold them in a position um, which is uh, comfortable and um, and doable. So essentially, this is a this is a feature, and here is a here's a replica of a of an archaeologic um, allotl. This was um, a replica of one from Broken Roof Cave uh, in northeastern Arizona. So it has it has this upward curvature, and that is. That is so that when it is hooked up with its um, with its dart, um, the dart basically seats solidly and doesn't just kind of drop off uh, and sideways as it would if the if the board were flat. Now it's interesting to note, however, that this is only a design function, or this is only a design feature which is important if you're using these very thin um, rod-bodied allotls or uh, very thin uh, slat-bodied allotls. If you're using a, a a lottel with a elevated spur or with a tied-on spur, something of that nature, um, this upward curvature isn't necessary. It's really only necessary if it's important to you or your culture um, that your lottels look like this, that they be thin, narrow boards.